Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 72 of the full game walkthrough. Today we're going to be finishing um, the wild and should be starting the weird today. Um, so a little recap on the story. Um, we're going to have to find access to the Jabberwock, I believe. And then um, whenever we defeat him, we'll be able to repair the bridge. Uh, so first we have to go to the Dark Knight's lair to find where the Jabberwock is, I think. Or it could be to get the key to it. I can't even remember. And there is something out there in the darkness. Something terrifying. Something that will not stop. Oh. Me. He's supposed to be like Batman. Alright, let's go in. Uh, 10,000 health. A good bit. So I think we're gonna need, obviously, the two faints. We're not gonna need this prism. There's our TC blade. We might as well go ahead and throw that on. Probably gonna need three blades and two faints, since he does. Well, he's death. We do boost. So actually, two blades and two faints might even be enough. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, we'll be hitting next turn. Hopefully. Good thing they can't really do anything to us, though. They're not myth. They're not fire. Ice. Alright, now let's go ahead and use our frost giant. I think we kill... His death, so we boost. I'm not sure if the boost is enough. Oh, yeah. See, I always... In, unless that's with us critting through, I always uh, underestimate how much we actually fear. do. Meet me outside this place oh, of my defeat, and I'll tell you what you need to know. I keep on forgetting that I'm doing dialogue here well I just missed out on dialogue you need to find the Mangsum Jabberwock the Jabberwock lairs in a hidden forest den on the high road near the shrine to loyalty as you get close you'll hear its terrible whiffling and burbling but show no fear after it breathes its fire strike hard so that's basically like a like to tell you how to defeat it, since whenever it does use its meteor, um, it gives a two hundred percent faint on itself. Take the hearts of the Jabberwock to the shrine to loyalty in the face of gloom, melancholy, angst, bitterness, and snark. Once you've purified the hearts of the Jabberwock at the shrine, take them back to that blasted friar Nolan. Alright, finally fighting the Jabberwock, which, since we do have a lot of health, we should be good here. Um, maybe we need shields? I don't know. We, we can take two Meteors, 
But since we do boost, he is, I believe he's fire. You gyre on by a grove of tum tum trees into the Jabberwock's lair. You hear some whistling and burbling up ahead. So I'm hoping we're gonna be good here. Um, maybe volcanic shields. I don't know if we. Need... <sighs> Beware the Jabberwock. The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. <laughs> Yeah, see, I don't, I don't even know if putting them in my deck is gonna be worth it, but I'll, I'll go ahead and put two in. Where's the one? Oh, he's actually got 16k health. Yeah. Um, so it's a good thing we put these in. I'm not sure how often he uses it. Um, so let's go ahead and use blades, because he's probably gonna hit us first round. Uses up most of his pips. I need to pull up to see what round he actually hits. Yeah, we get a 55% boost on him. So that's good. At the end of the third round. So we should use a fire shield now. There it is. So now it only did 200. Cool. Okay, so that's third round, 200%. I, I believe it stacks with a regular faint. I'm not certain on that. So let's give it a try. This is round four. Five and six. Okay, so we got two more rounds. We can honestly take one. Or can we... Should we just hit? 55% boost. I... Th I think this is the move. If they stack... I'm pretty sure we kill here. Oh, they do stack. And we get the 55% boost. For a lot of damage. Yep. Okay. Come As you subdue the slimy beast, it emits a terrible hacking, like a cat with a hairball, and spits up a tulgy gob. You find the hearts of the Jabberwock in the Mimsy mess. Whoever said being a wizard was easy. Okay, so I believe we just go outside now. You purify the hearts of the Jabberwock on the shrine to loyalty in the face of gloom, melancholy, angst, bitterness, and snark. I believe now we should get access to the weird. You've defeated the Jabberwock, cleansed the magical rubies, and punished the Dark Knight for his disloyalty. A truly frabjous day. Rise, wizard. You are promoted to knight errant for your mastery of... Rise, wizard. You are promoted to so knight errant on. for your mastery of the virtue of loyalty. Take the hearts of the Jabberwock back to the wild. 
Deirdre will show you how to restore the Hanging Stones Bridge. I was waiting for the health there, even though we didn't really need it, but... Now we should be able to go to the weird, hopefully. You look brighter, Please? wizard. Please. Friar Nolan sent you to battle for the hearts of the Jabberwock. What a fight that would have been to see. Take the hearts and touch them to the fallen yes. hanging stones. Here we go. The monoliths will rise up and reform the bridge. So we'll finally be able to... No, we already got the, the, the spell clusters from here. Um, but we'll finally get access to Grady. I probably should wait for that animation. There you go. Oh, actually, we weren't supposed to go in there yet. We have to go back to Deirdre. I've also been kind of ignoring the crows, so I probably should look to see where the locations are for each one. I don't think we've gotten... Yeah, we haven't gotten any of them besides the one from the... Um, Abbey Road. The Hanging Stones Bridge is an ancient work of the Weirwood Fairies. Thank you for restoring it. Cross over the Hanging Stones Bridge into the Weird. Stay on the path to the Lost Abbey and beware the tormented treants. If you are quick and kind, you might find a full fire wisp to help guide you. They are enemies of the Spectres of the Broken. Totally for the first time, we're going to go to the weird. All right, let's grab this wood chest. So much we get here. 132. That's unfortunate. I swear it used to be, uh, used to be higher. I don't like no the specters of the brocken are haunting they, this area like kind of like the lower the gold for each area or maybe it's just lower because you get like um different reagents and stuff if you defeat some specters perhaps the faux fire lights will know you're on their side let's actually go ahead and take these shields out now we should be able to go in we also boost against them too let's see if if we're lucky today. Hopefully we are. We did crit, crit through. Only on one, that sucks. We're gonna have to wait another two turns at the least. One of the great whiz mysteries is what the hell he says. The skeleton pirate and also the leprechaun. Not a clue. Not even gonna take a guess there. If anybody's deciphered it, make sure to let me know. Could through that time, that's cool. When you defeat that specter, it releases a captured faux fire light. The faux fire light is bobbing and weaving as if it wants your attention. It bobs and weaves cheerfully. The faux fire light seems to understand your quest. It illuminates a path for you right into the lost abbey. This area is pretty big. By the horned crown, who disturbs my melancholy? I shall feed on your mana and leave your body a husk for the beetles. Yeah, he's got 10,000, so that's a little bit extreme. We really got all of our feints there when I was just looking for a blade. It's a good thing I didn't have to use the faint too. It's probably, he might actually leviathan us. 
I hope he doesn't, but he's got enough for it. Let's get rid of those. Look at this. We just have to. Don't use it. He fizzed again. Oh, no. We're going to get smacked here. There's no way he doesn't use Leviathan at this point, right? Okay, let's blade. Nope, he didn't. Except he could use the next turn, though. Pretty sure Leviathan still takes off two blades. Okay, instead of Leviathan, we got um, Death Ninja Pig or Plague, whatever, but they, they're going to give us a weakness, so that's going to suck. We might need an extra blade. Um, or honestly, we could just hit so that the minion dies, and then we'll go ahead and focus on the boss. Alright, um, faint. No reason not to. Okay, he got rid of all of his pips. That's good. Do we just go ahead? No, let, let's go for that Frost Giant. I hate to do it with a weakness on us, but. Yeah, but at least one of them's dead. Now we can just focus on uh, putting putting a blade on. Um, we might need two here actually. I don't think it must be crit. Uh, Blizzard won't kill. Wild bolt giving it max. It actually hit max. Oof. You know what? I'm gonna play it safe. We're gonna faint here. Since I deleted the other blizzard, we're gonna need this. We're gonna make sure we kill him. I don't want to wait for a frost giant here. Let's go ahead and blizzard. Now, if this doesn't kill. Pretty confident here though. Maybe a little too confident. Yeah. The shadow is lifted. I am transformed. Stranger, you have broken my madness. Let us speak outside this accursed place. Valiant Knight Errants. How can I repay your good deed? My tragedy has been lost to the mists of time. Suffice it to say, I knew joy and sorrow before the time of King Artorius. But when the vile Pendragon, Lord of the Wild Hunt, rose to power, his shadow twisted me and my brother ghosts to evil. The Sword of Kings? <laughs> we gave it to the Pendragon's horned ones just before you liberated me. They secured it in a fraudling wagon and went down the path. Hurry, and you might catch them. Let's grab these wisps real quick. Oh, this tree's on fire. Oh no, something terrible happened to the wagon before you could do something terrible to it. As you get closer, you think you hear a wee tiny voice crying for help. Oh, help! Can any brave soul hear me? Aww. He's kind of cute. You heard me. Hooray! I beg your help. 
Help, brave big one. Our village is in that tree, and we cannot douse the magical flames consuming it. Please collect some arcane water from the rainbow fountain and use it to quench the flames. So when you summon an imp, it comes from the arcane the weird. water from the rainbow fountain sparkles with quick. its own light. You collect a sample. You hope it will be enough. You got back just in time. You soaked the tree with the arcane water you collected. There's a loud hiss and a billow of white steam. For a second, you can't see anything. Big one, you saved us. I saw the wagon attack my death seraphs. They crushed the horned ones with their infernal flames and stole a great soul. The death seraphs flew to the burial ground. This trail leads to it, but I must warn you. An Etin blocks the way. You'll need to face the Etin, both of his faces, to get there. If you get by the Etin, there's a friendly ghost in the burial ground called Bridget. She can help you find the death seraphs. So we should be able to get level 78 today, I believe. And we're just pretty close right now. I smell a wizard. Come closer and let me grab a hold of you, wee one. I said come closer. You are not scared of me, gyring gimbal. You hear that thunder? It is my stomach. It is long empty. I recall the savory tang of roast mutton from the Froudling village. Perhaps you want to get past me, but I cannot hear your words because my stomach is so loud. Fetch me a pot of mutton. Is that, gr is that where Grady is? Oh, I feel like we have to fight these spriggans at one point. Then again, we probably have to fight everyone at some point. Pretty sure this is where maybe Bring it to me. Oh, there is. I see you retrieved it. Please bring it closer. <laughs> Let us bargain, wizard. The mutton packed was but charity. A devilish leprechaun lured me here to be turned to stone by the sun. A cloak of raven shadows can free me. First, scavenge raven feathers from the Froudling village. Here we go. Then, you'll need to battle wildfire treants for ashes and tormented treants for twisted branches. Take it to the devil Shane McGobbin. He can make the cloak, and in return, I'll vow not to arm a leprechaun again. Oh, well, damn. So, raven feathers will look like they're over here. We'll do that, and then we have to fight these treants. I'm not able to go in this water, no. I really don't want to try and get that raven feather because I know I'm going to get pulled. There's probably others, though. There's another one. Why did I pass by here? What's this? Mushroom. We'll take that. <gasps> no! It's our brother! Did they already respawn? Oh, they respawn pretty fast. He's stuck, though. We gotta help him. I know that's one of the, the plot points, but still. Hello? Let's go ahead and get this. Sadly, it's defeat three, so we're going to have to do at least two fights here. Uh, oh, and they have 2,500 health, too, so we're going to definitely need to save up for a frost giant. Or to be honest, if we crit, we can get through them. 
You might be able to defeat them a little bit faster that way. What's our percentage we crit through here, though? Let's look at it. 77, 0% chance of blocking. Hmm. I still don't know what that means, because it's still probably going to crit, and then none of them block, but... Okay, so crit. Oh, it actually killed. Okay. Let's just do that one more time. Alright, so we're done with those. This, actually, the second battle took, like, three hits because uh, two blizzards didn't even kill him. Actually, I didn't know we have to go back into the wild for this one. But here we go. Hopefully, we can get it pretty fast. Um, it seemed like it was just a 100% uh, chance to get. I'm not sure if it was that or I'm just lucky, but we're going to find out here. Since they are fire, we should have an easy time here, too. So the last one, I believe, was life. We didn't boost on them, but we do boost on fire. You know what? We're going for it. Maybe we can get lucky here. <laughs> That's what we get, to be honest. They're getting a little cocky. Um, I guess at this point, we honestly just, just blade and use a frost giant next turn. Frost giant. Mm. All right, then we just need one more battle. Yeah, we collected both of those there, too. All right, there we go. Now we just have to talk to Shane. Hopefully he lets us buy after this and he doesn't turn on us. Could be the case, but I don't remember anything, to be honest. Let's see what he says. Raven feathers, wildfire ashes, and twisted branches. And what you be needing a croak of raven shadows for? That moth eating atin. He's mashed me people for more than a score of years. Eh, hey, he's offering a vow of peace. All right, but make sure both heads swear, or we'll both be sorry. Here's your cloak. Wait, what does he sell? Athames. No, those aren't anything good. Nah, he didn't sell anything good. Well, to be fair, hold up. Does he have... Oh no. Yeah, no, those suck. They're like a little bit of a downgrade from Waterworks. I should have left a mark. I didn't even think about that. I didn't know we... Well, I mean, I saw a uh, shame, but I didn't really even put one, one and two together. Are we leveling after this? 33? Yeah, it should be. Let's grab this chest again. Last time we got like 130 or 180. Yeah. Is it even worth it to get these chests at this point? <laughs> hey, win for it. 
I mean, of course, I'll keep my vow. What do you mean I have to promise for my other head, too? What trickery is this? Didn't I? Fine, fine, fine. Oh. We vow never to harm a leprechaun again. We vow never to harm a leprechaun again. Happy? You Can help us, wizard. I won't Whoa. forget that. Pac Me Quest, either. Maybe? I'll remember you fondly as I pick your bones out of my teeth. No, no, no. A deal is a deal. The way is open to you, wizard. Head on to the burial ground and find your ghost, Bridget. Hold up. Hello there, my darling student. Please make your way at once to my classroom in Ravenwood. I yes. have wonderful news for you. Excuse me? I don't know what this is. It's probably a pet though, right? I would assume it's a pet because I I know there's not a spell quest at this level. Right. Is it the mammoth pet? Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm way too used to life at this point. All right, Grey Rose, what you got? Oh, hello there. You got my message, yes? Wonderful. Once more, I have exciting news for you. You have owned a yeah, new there pet. It is. And the woolly mammoth. Lucky you. This time, it is a miniature woolly mammoth, just like the one in the spell. I don't have any here with me. Oh, no. Does my classroom look like a woolly mammoth stable? Don't answer that. Speak to Clancy Pembroke in the Royal Museum in Marleybone. Nice. He will know where in Griselheim you can get one. Let's actually good finish uh, this episode off here with a pet. That sounds like a good stopping point. I didn't know level 78s when you get the spell or the pet quest for the woolly mammoth. I'm also not sure what the next one is. I know there's one at 98, but I'm not sure what it is. Let's see. So we already have the Colossus. We already have. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Of course, it's the Lord of Winter. What else would it be? Welcome back to Malibone. I had to guess, you're here looking to learn about woolly mammoths, correct? Excellent. I have taken the liberty of putting our most recent reference work on that book pedestal over yonder. Migratory Patterns of the Great Mammals, Volume M. A real page-turner, to be certain. Read it and return when you're done. Your eyes glaze over as you read extensively on the subject of mammoths, woolly. Now to see if Clancy can help you. How's that for some light reading? Very well then, I'll cut right to the chase. I've consulted some maps from a recent survey of Griselheim, done by a fellow named Ulvang Landstrider. Compared with the migratory data, the most likely spot to find a mammoth egg is a deserted cave in the Big Grid Roughlands. I suggest you go there at once and claim your new pet. It seems a little too easy here. 40k, we're probably going to fight somebody in there because they have taken over the all the eggs just like everything else. Bigger than Rutland's over here, really? Wait, what's over there? Merkholm Keep? Yeah, let's see where we're at. Um, looks like we're gonna have to use. Actually, that teleport is probably the closest thing we'll get. Took off 200. Now just as long as they're not ace, we're good there. Myth would suck too though. I 
Actually, make sure this deck's set right. Should be good with just two of each. This looks like the right cave. Okay, storm. But it's not Easy. deserted. See how much health he has. Rank 11 boss. I don't think that's too bad. Yeah, 400. Well, this is a joke. Come on. We're not going to need the mammoth. Let's go ahead and do knife blade. Frost Giant, there's our Faints. Ice Blade, two Faints. Seems pretty easy from here on out. Ooh, Amplified, I'm scared. It's gonna hit us for a lot here. All right, let's go and use this Faint. To be honest, do we have to use a TC faint here? Let's just go ahead right there. We can use them. I mean, we have a lot. Plus, gold's not too hard to come by. Alright, let's go. It's always fitting to use Frost Giant and Grizzlime. We definitely didn't need that faint, but it is good that we got it over. Now to get what you came for. You hope it wasn't broken. Oh, stinkweed, nice. Let me just go back to Gray Rose, and we should get our woolly mammoth egg. It's actually the first time I've ever seen um, one pretty up close, and I've seen them um, in videos and stuff, but I don't think I've seen one um, actually like on somebody. I don't think it's a very popular pet since it only gives a woolly mammoth card. Wonderful! I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Let me see it. Oh, it looks like it's about to hurt. Good for you. Nice, look at that. Let's equip it and see what it looks like. Oh, look at him. It's actually a pretty cute pet, to be honest with you. Little boomer. There we go. Alright, so that's actually where we're going to end this episode. So next episode, we'll finish up in the weird. At least we should be able to. I'm not actually certain. Do we have any spells? No, we don't get any more spells until level 100. Um, actually, what was that? A 120 Scion. Okay. Uh, but anyways, that's where we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, thanks for watching.